Hello and welcome to this training course on Google Earth Engine. My name is Ahmed Amar and I will take you through this journey. We will begin with a brief introduction of the Google Earth Engine's cloud computing platform and its capabilities. I will show you how can you register your own account on this platform and get started. And of course, I will take you through the different uh, geospatial analysis, algorithms, visualization strategies, techniques, um, that we can uh, avail or you can say uh, perform on this platform. Those will include tasks like uh, clipping, mosaicing, stacking, image classification, image reduction, image downloading. Uh, that is, uh, you can easily export your images through Google Drive and then download those to your system. Uh, you can create graphs, you can create charts, you can create user interfaces, um, you can um, perform the, uh, different spatial temporal analysis on this platform. Moreover, uh, the motivation for Google Earth Engine, or I should say the motivation to use Google Earth Engine, is that you do not, or you would not have to install any software or desktop GIS on your own computer or your laptop. All you need is to access this web page on your uh, browser that would either be Firefox or Chrome. Another motivation of using this platform is that it is going to save you a lot of time and money. The Google's cloud infrastructure will make sure the speedy execution of your workflows and algorithms. The same workflows or algorithms on your desktop GS environments might take up to hours depending on the limitation of your system. However, as it is free, it might save you a lot of money of buying those commercial GS and remote sensing and satellite image processing softwares. There is one downside that the algorithms used on the Google Earth Engine platform are not open source affiliate. To get started, you just have to access earthengine.google.com in your web browser. Then let's uh, explore how the website looks like. If you click on datasets, uh, you see we are provided with another web page. That says that uh, Google Earth Engine has access to surface temperature, climate, atmospheric, weather, uh, remotely sensed imagery, geophysical parameter datasets. Okie dokie. Now, if you click on view all datasets, here we can search for different datasets. Uh, for example, if we type in SRTM here, that is short for Shutter Radar Topographic Mission. You see that we are provided with uh, this digital elevation model here. Let's click on it. It takes us to the specific web page where we have information about the different uh, terms and use, citation details, bands, spatial resolution, description of this data set. Now if we click on this Arthenian snippet link here, It takes us to the Google Earth Engine code editor window. Uh, surprising, uh, it must be new for you, but don't worry, we will learn it all. Now, if you click on run here, you will see that it loads a digital elevation model for us. You can zoom in or zoom out. Oops. And you can zoom in or pan to the area of interest. Similarly, you see that there are lots of other options here, like you can draw rectangles, you can draw polygons, and that are used for, for example, clipping, extracting areas of interest, uh, extracting values for a single point, etc. Now, uh, if you go to the main page, and we click on uh, Platform uh, Explorer, and we type in SR team here, You see that uh, it allows us to visualize the same data set here. Note that we cannot perform analysis on the Explorer window here, but we can surely do that in the co editor window that we had here. We can explore the Explorer window without having to registering on the platform, but to access the uh, code editor, you need to have an official account. For that, uh, you can go onto the main page, click on sign up here, uh, they will ask you for your name, your email ID, your affiliation, your uh, organization, 
and why are you going to sign up for this platform you have to fill in that form and they will contact you back on your email uh, that surely would be gmail your gmail account and um, uh, you will be good to go then you can uh, go to code.earthengine.google.com and uh, we will pick forward from here in the next video till then i want to complete your registration process and subscribe to this channel so that uh, you are notified of all the future videos that we upload on this um, channel this is surely going to be an exciting course take good care of yourself goodbye